it's Crystal. So today I have a quick little review for you on a brush set by MAC. This is one of the special edition sets that was designed and illustrated by Julie Verhoeven. Many of you may know Julie by her art. She's an artist. She's a designer. She is just this fun, bright, poppy person. Her art is so similar to everything you're going to see, not only on the boxes, but also on the bags and the carrying cases themselves. So here's the box to the set that I decided to get. This set is a brush set and this was $49.50 and here's what the top of the box looks like. Now they did make a little whoopsie on two of the brushes and you will see soon. But again, you can go to your local Nordstrom's to pick this up. You can go to your local Mac store. I absolutely fell in love with the inside of the box as well. When you open it up, it's just like splashed paint. It is so cute. So here is the holder, the case that the brushes are held in. Very, very pretty. It's canvas and it has this brilliant like blueberry rich blue ribbon. And when you open it up, it's that same splashed paint. And then you have your brush holder here. And then on top, it says Mac Illustrated by Julie Verhoeven. And these are the brushes that came with the set. So the first brush is the Mac 187. And as you can see, it says SE, and that stands for Special Edition. The actual hair bundle is the same duo fiber as the original 187, absolutely same size, everything. It is the exact same. The ferrule obviously is a different color. It's a black color instead of the typical silver color. The only real absolute aesthetic difference would be the handle. The handle is much shorter from the original 187 but many of the special edition brushes are, and that's why they're special edition, because you can collect them, they're collectibles. And this is just such a wonderful, wonderful stippling brush. I absolutely love this. It glides everything on. It gives me a truly airbrushed finish. This is such a soft duo fiber, and it really does a wonderful job, not only stippling, which is its main purpose, but also when you're really buffing that in, you're getting a nice airbrushed buff. You're not getting such a rigid buff, which you'll find with the Samantha Chapman. You get a little bit more of a rigid buff, and it depends on what you like for a finish, really. Now, this is a wonderful brush with cream or powder products. You get that great duo fiber. This is a mixture of synthetic and goat hair as well, and I happen to like goat hair brushes quite a bit. And again, this is your MAC 187, and this is an SE. The next brush it came with is the MAC 130 SE, and this is considered their small duo fiber brush, face brush. And this one, in comparison to the large one, the large one, again, it's very, very soft texture. I mean, this is just so smooth, so soft. It does a very flawless, truly airbrushed finish. This one I much more prefer for my concealer. It's a much more densely packed hair bundle. It's got a more rigid top. The duo fiber is not quite as long. It's wonderful for blending out your concealer. It really gets in those little divots of your nose. It gives such a great blend between concealer and then regular foundation. This again is great for cream or powder products because of the duo fiber. Now you'll see with all of these brushes, they're the exact same hair bundle. The ferrule is the exact same except for the color and really the only thing different or the only thing differing is the handle itself. This brush I really, really enjoy. I think that this one is wonderful as well for doing powder products. If you have a quick blemish that you'd like to conceal, this is great for dipping it into a pressed powder and really blending that out and airbrushing out that powder effect. It's great for creating different textures on your face. This is also wonderful for blending in blushes with your contour. It's a really, really nice brush. Now the next brush, they did make a whoopsie on the name. They printed it as a 282, but as many of you know, this is absolutely not a 282, it's a 286. This is their dual fiber or split fiber blending brush, crease brush for the eye. 
So it's really cool you get those two face brushes and then you get this really nice eye brush. And lately I've been replacing a lot of my brushes or I've been replacing a lot of my MAC brushes that I've had for years and this happens to be one of the brushes that I really needed a new one of and it was so cool that it came in this kit. So this is in fact a 286, not a 282 and it does say it on the box and it will say it with everything that comes with this that they made a whoopsie. It's really cute. They're like, we made a whoopsie. Anyways, so this is a 286 and you'll have to excuse me, I do have some eyeshadow on there. But again, the hair bundle is the same length as the original 286. There's nothing different about it. The ferrule is the same length as the 286. And all of the ferrules are the same length as they would be on the original brushes as well. That's the cool thing about the special editions. Again, the only thing different is the handles. This brush is wonderful as a crease brush. It really gets in there. And it is very soft, especially the, the black fibers. However, when you get to the top, the white fibers, the nice thing is tip is really rigid. It's a little bit rougher. So that blending is going to just be so so easy you're really going to get a good blend can you even see that blended that out really really easily really quickly anytime you have a little bit more of a rougher edge to a blending brush another example of a brush like that from Mac is a 217 wonderful dome shape also the tip is very rough and you're going to get that really precise really really nice blend and a nice even blend at that as well and the last brush from the kit is this one and you'll see that it says 286 which it is not but it is the duo fiber as well there's some a little bit of makeup on there and they're calling this their blending brush so we have the tapered brush and then we have the duo fiber blending brush this one's really really nice now I'm a big fan of multi using brushes so if I find a use for a brush for something that it's really like off labeled as I'll do it for example I use my 224 quite often as a concealer brush I think that it does a really good job as a concealer brush and this one a lot of people may use both ways. You can use it on your eyes and you can also use it as a concealer brush. It's got a great flat hair bundle, really thin for what it is, nice tightly cinched ferrule. So you can also use it under your eyes as a concealer brush. You can get right in those divots again. This is going to be a brush that you can use however you want. Really. All of these you can use however you want. I thought that this was such a nice collection. I was going to honestly get several more of the kits. These are really hard to come by because so many Macs are sold out. You cannot find them online right now. They're going to be online, I believe, August 26th, I want to say. So the more I come across them, I'm going to be picking them up and doing reviews. I would like to get one of the Smoky Eye kits next or another brush set, like the Total Face Brush set. But for now, I saw this one, and this definitely was the set I wanted first. Again, it's $49.50 for all of them. The hair bundles are the exact same. The only thing that may differ, or that definitely does differ, are the handles. The handles are not quite as solid as the regular handles. They're also much shorter. I quite enjoyed having these two be short. The 130 and the 187. I like that the 187 is so short because I get more control when I'm buffing, I get more control when I'm stippling, and I think that it gives me a better handle over what look I'm trying to create. Same thing with the 130. It's not as short as the 187, but it is still quite short. And I really like that because it's giving me more control over my concealer, more control over blending and creating different layers of effects that I really wanted to create. I really, really like this entire kit. I definitely like the canvas bag that it comes with. And they're going to be having the actual makeup bags as well. Those aren't even in the stores or at least at my Mac and my Nordstrom. Not even there yet. They have separate Julie Verhoeven makeup bags that are very, very cute. And they have all different collections and kits. Like I said, they have the nude one. They have really, really, really nice smoky eye kits, like a plum smoky eye, and they all come with brushes as well. I believe two brushes per smoky eye kit and a mini uh, lash zoom. They come with really nice things. I think that the brush collection coming with a little pouch is a nice idea as well. This would make a great gift for somebody who's just starting out in makeup and maybe wants MAC brushes. 
$50. Very inexpensive when you consider that one of these is maybe 42 bucks for a face brush. Of course, the eye brushes are not as pricey, but these face brushes alone are about $42 each. So this is a great, great deal for somebody who wants a MAC brush, and you get four in one. Again, you also get the holding case, which is really nice, illustrated by Julie Verhoeven. So here is what it looks like when it is filled with the brushes. The total face brush kit comes with five different brushes. It comes with the powder brush, the total face brush, it comes with the pencil brush, it comes with an angled liner brush, and it comes with a 224. So that comes with five for the same price, which is a really nice brush kit, but I have so many of those already that I figured, you know what, this is the one I definitely wanna go with. But you're gonna get the same carrying case with that one as well. So here's a close up. As for negative cons, things like that with these brushes, I really don't have any. I'm a huge fan of MAC brushes, so I don't see anything that I dislike about them. I really, really like their brushes. I think they're very high quality. The whoopsie was like the one thing, big deal. If you know your MAC brushes, you're not going to flip out about it. And of course, if you're not sure or you want to double check on your brushes, you can always go to maccosmetics.com and click on tools or shop and then tools and then look at all the brushes and figure out for yourself which brush is really which. But having two little whoopsies, not a huge deal really. They're still the same brushes, very, very nice quality, wonderful, wonderful. And the nice thing about MAC brushes is that they last forever. Your brushes should be lasting a long time as long as you treat them well, as long as you clean them regularly, as long as you're getting the gunk off of them. Your brushes should last a very long time. I mean it's really really a good price for these brushes. I know that some of them are very expensive on their own so that's why I wanted to show you guys this particular kit because you can get all four brushes for a little bit more than one would cost for a face brush. So it's a great idea this one's particularly nice because you get the mixture of eye and face and the other brush set's very nice as well. So as soon as that one comes back in stock, maybe I'll go ahead and pick that up um, just to show you what it looks like or maybe I will go ahead and pick up one of the cosmetic kits and show you that one. Or if you guys want to see one over the other, you can go ahead and leave a comment. If you want to see the makeup kits or the smoky eye kits or the other brush set, let me know what you'd like to see next and I will go ahead and run out and pick that one up and do a review on that for you as well. Thank you guys so much for watching and again I will leave all the links below and I will see you in the next video.